Here's what happens when you use an addition reaction to identify an alkane from an alkene using a bromine water. So I'm going to put some unidentified substance in the test tube, very small amounts, 10 drops. And then I'm going to put in some very, very dilute bromine water. Now the colour is sort of a brownie orange. If an alkane is present, then this brownie orange colour will remain and the substances will not have a chemical reaction. So as you can see, the bromine water has not changed that sort of orangey brown colour. There's now a mixture of two different substances in that test tube. Now to identify an alkene, we've got the double bond in the carbon and that will break down and they will become single bonds and the bromine will break apart and become bromide ions that will then attach to the carbons. So how you can identify an alkene is that when you add bromine water to an alkene there will be a colour change. So you pour that in, drop, 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 there is a chemical reaction occurring and therefore the solution goes colourless. So you can see the difference between the two there. The substance on the right was the alkene, which has reacted with the bromine water. In my example for the word equation is using ethene rather than hexene, it's a bit easier. Ethene plus bromine gets me dibromoethane. That's an addition reaction. Okay, di meaning two, bromo to represent bromine, eth because it's two carbons. Looking at the structural formula may help to see where bonds are broken and bonds are made. So you ethene, double bond in the carbon, plus bromine, the Br2. An addition reaction becomes dibromoethane, single bond in the carbon and two bromide ions attached. That's it.